Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to an Inform Keita Balde Diaw Striker Player Review. That's right, the Serie A Lazio star has been moved to striker for this particular Inform. He's now 85 rated with 95 pace, 90 dribbling, 84 shooting, 83 passing and 80 physical. Crazy, crazy stats right there. He's 6 foot tall with high low work rates, perfect for a striker of course. Right footed. With the nice four-star skills and weak foot. So, of course, Keita Balde Diaw. I'm going to call him Keita for the rest of this video because uh, that's how I know him on this game. Of course, he would fit in perfectly to a uh, an Italian league side. And in this one, he features with the premium SBC El Shirawe. However, I used him in this particular squad right here. He's in another two-striker formation, a 4-3-1-2 side. And it's a mix between the Italian league and the Premier League. And, of course, we've got the player of the year, Kante, in the squad as well. So when we take a look at the in-game stats for Keita, well, it's his second special item, but he also received an upgrade in the ratings refresh. So even with the basic chemistry style, we're looking pretty good in terms of in-game stats. 97 pace, 94 dribbling, 87 shooting. Pretty, pretty good, I'm not going to lie. But I was already happy with the pace and dribbling and passing for this player. So I thought, why not use the finisher chemistry style to try and really boost the shooting and physical stats as much as possible. We get him up to the likes of 86 finishing, 99 long shots and 95 strength in game. So that's pretty good. And uh, we can move on into the clips and we need to talk pros and cons about the player. Uh, I, I got on really well with him. Um, he, was, he was a bit of a madness. I was expecting him to be a bit of a madness, I'm not going to lie, because I've used his previous versions uh, and really liked them as well. Uh, and so the position change to striker got me somewhat excited. But there are a couple of minor negatives that we should talk about. Um, that composure stat, which we, as we know, is locked at, at the uh, the same stat for both the, the regular version and all of the informs, is relatively low. It's in the high 60s. So I did find from time to time that it would take me quite a few shots in-game uh, in order for me to actually score the goal. But I got used to him eventually realised what sort of shots would and wouldn't work. Uh, so yeah, it just takes a few games to get used to the guy. Uh, and then of course, aerial ability. I, I was hopefully expecting a little bit more. You know, he's six foot tall. I felt like he could act almost target man-ish from time to time up front. But uh, that's not the case. I think I lost basically every header uh, that I went up for. You know, I tried it from a few goal kicks, near posts from corners and stuff. And I wasn't successful with any of them. But of course, it's not really what Cater's game is all about. Um, so, you know, but it's something to bear in mind. You know, maybe play him up, up front with... With a, a taller striker that can win the headers and knock them down to him. Because, of course, he has got an awful lot of pace. And that is the first positive today, of course. Th that's the first thing you see on his item as well, is that 95 pace. Both his acceleration and sprint speed are out of this world. He's an insanely, insanely quick player on this game. Uh, and he feels just as fast as you might think he would. Uh, and his ball control and dribbling were both... Very, very impressive. First touch was great. Uh, I wasn't boosting his his dribbling stat with any chemistry style today. As you know, I was using the finisher chem style. So he had the 90 dribbling and 90 ball control, or, or just slightly higher than that, off the bat, which is very good. His first touch is great. Uh, and weaving in and out of defenders with that dribbling, yeah, it seemed it seemed to, to flow really well. And, of course, he does have the addition of the four-star skill moves and a decent weak foot too. Um, so you might see in a couple of the clips, I can't quite remember what, what I've got here for you, uh, of potential like Berber spins and chops and turns that I do just to help get myself that extra bit of space on the attack. Uh, and that was a very lucky goal right there. I just went into tackle and it literally went into the back of the net. Um, but the weak foot thing, yeah, it, I found it useful. He does also like to try and strike on the outside of his strong foot, it seems, because I had a couple of shots that went like that. That goal right there is actually a pretty good example of that, right into the top corner. However, I think he probably could have finished it with his weak four star, uh, with his uh, weak foot, should I say, because it is four star and, and it's pretty decent. Um, next thing I was very impressed with, with was Cater's strength. You know, as I said, we've boosted him up to 95 strength in game. Uh, and he is six foot tall, so he does have a good physical presence. However, just not re really reliable up in the air. But in terms of actual physical battles with strong defenders, you'll find yourself coming out of those 
you know, ahead of the defender, one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, quite a lot of times, actually. It was very impressive. Uh, just manages to hold defenders off to, ex you know, get some extra space again, uh, ready to pull that trigger and score the goal. And that's what the final two positives are about here today. It is the fact that he has ridiculous shot power. Uh, the, the nice low driven shots across the goalkeeper have a huge amount of power. They seem to, to fly past them really quick, meaning that the goalkeeper can't get down uh, in time to stop them. So overall, he's like a Martial version of a Serie A player. So he, he is the Serie A Martial, in my opinion. A great player, and I really rate him. I had a great time using him. He scored loads and loads of goals. Uh, and would be a perfect duo in a two-striker formation in your Italian league side. So there you have it, guys. I hope you now know whether or not Keita Balde DL striker in form is right for your ultimate team. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace.